Welcome, this is the Dennis News Network. I'm Scott Drake with my guest, Dr. Brian Harris with Harris Dental in Phoenix, Arizona. Dr. Harris, welcome back. Thank you. Dr. Harris, there are two types of fillings, amalgam versus composite. Uh, which material lasts longer? That's a, it's a big debate right now in dentistry in general. Um, they're both good materials. The amalgam material, which is the traditional metal fillings, is a material that lasts a very long time. It's proven. It's been around for a long time. Um, newer composites, which is what are typically done today, it's a composite resin material that if done properly can last just as long of amount of time. It's just a lot of it depends on the operator and who is placing the filling. Um, is all the decay cleaned out? Is it a sterile environment? There's a lot of factors that go into the, the longevity and how, how well these, these fillings will hold up and last. Well, let's hone in on amalgam. Can you talk about the benefits of that type of material? Sure. I, I would say the one benefit of an amalgam filling is there are some areas that we just cannot keep dry. We can't keep clean. Uh, the amalgam can essentially be placed anywhere in the mouth in a wet environment. Um, there's not a lot of things that can go wrong in doing that. With a composite, it is very technique sensitive. The doctor has to be able to isolate the area, make it free of any germs or bacteria, um, have it be dry, then be able to place that filling uh, in, in the proper sequence so that it lasts a long time and looks good. Now amalgam is a metal. Does it actually contain mercury? There is. You know, and, and the big downside I think nowadays to, to the amalgam fillings is that they, they do contain mercury, which is, which is a big debate um, in, in the healthcare world in general and also in dentistry. Um, I would say the, the bigger issue though, on a daily basis, we see people walk in the door that have had big amalgam fillings that part of their tooth has fallen off or cracked off. And, and the downside of the amalgam, it is a metal and it's, it's a metal that can expand and contract uh, with pressure over time and with temperature and, and they tend to crack teeth on a, on a regular basis. So the, the big thing to be aware of is larger amalgam fillings you're going to have more incidence of fractured teeth, more need to have crowns done in the future, more extensive dentistry. And that, that I say, is probably the biggest downfall of, of the amalgam fillings versus a composite. Where the composite, we can be very conservative in how we place them, not have to take away very much tooth structure. And frankly, people don't want to see metal in their mouth anymore. You know, and, and composite is, is really taken over the market, and it's, it's primarily what is done today. All right, Dr. Harris, thank you. Thank you. You can find out more at DennisNewsNetwork.com. I'm Scott Drake. Thanks for watching.